welcome to my apartment. This is my new apartment tour. So come on, let's check it out. And let me tell you why I enjoy living in a smaller apartment than a bigger one. <laughs> Well, this is uh, my hallway. See, I have to back into my bathroom to show you because this is the ugliest space by far. I think we can all agree that this is an eyesore, but let's forget about that part <laughs> and move in to the rest of the apartment. And we have the kitchen right here. So what I like about this place is uh, the layout actually because so the kitchen is there and the main room is there it's the living space and just at the end is the bedroom which isn't really a room I guess but it's a corner <laughs> for the bed and I think it works out really nice. Like this is probably my favorite corner of the apartment because I like how it turned out with these drapes. And I have my Buddha, of course. He's been with me for a long time now. It's his third apartment with me. And like looking back, there is our workplace. Let me show you what all like the things are and uh, yeah, let me show you. <laughs> this is our bathroom which is quite spacious and my favourite we have a laundry machine there. And actually we, we have this big mirror before but we couldn't fit it anywhere and I still wanted to keep it. So it's in the bathroom. <laughs> Let's close the door there. Don't need that. Okay, so underneath this, uh, what's it called? Can't remember a name. I've completely lost the word for what this furniture is called. Uh, anyway, underneath it, I keep my shoes <laughs> because there's not a lot of room in here. Um, yeah and my husband has some shoes there. Hello, this is a nice hallway mirror that I found. I haven't paid anything for it. I actually found that up in, uh, in the attic of my last apartment. Hello, George. That's George. He's my buddy. This is my other favorite thing about this apartment. It has a dishwasher, which is very good. But here's the thing. This kitchen looks big, I know, but it actually, it was not enough space for me <laughs> because I cook a lot. So I'm not, I'm never gonna be a minimalist when it comes to, to food and just um, kitchen where. And funny thing is, I've actually gotten rid of a lot of kitchen stuff. But anyway, so we bought this extra bench for some extra counter space, and just extra space in general. The whole top drawer is just spices. <laughs> and my idea is, I'm not quite finished because I wanna put up a, a wall there just to separate and you know so you can like cut things in or worry about crumbs falling out uh, onto the de desk uh, but that's a project for later so that's why the back looks like it does but it's a nice it's like it created this gallic kitchen which is a nice separation from the rest of the apartment and by putting uh, the desk uh, close to that counter it sort of creates a work 
area and further down in the room it's you know the more of the living room so it kind of I like how it divided the room like that and so yeah I, I used to like how that turned out and over here are the closets <laughs> and this is like it's so much color and stuff going on on this side and when I turned it that side it is a big wide wall basically now if you look up there it's horrible up there and mostly like shoes and some winter clothes and some uh, our suitcases um yeah but we couldn't there was no space for it i used to have a big walk-in closet by myself and as you can see now this is both my husband's and my clothes. I've downsized my wardrobe quite a lot. This is just a cleaning cupboard, so this doesn't count. This is my husband's wardrobe, my husband's stuff up there, and my dresses is hanging here. There's my wardrobe again. Used trousers, shorts, skirts, tops, and up there we have our linens. And here are our, uh, our wedding clothes and we have some towels up on the top. Our apartment was 56 square meters and this apartment is 43 square meters. And we had, before we had two, we had a basement and we had an attic with extra space. And now, I mean, I guess that was like, 15 square meters with storage room now we have about one which is a huge difference so even though you might not be able to tell from this apartment because for some people this is like a lot of stuff and cluttered um i guess i don't know but if you compare it to the uh to the space we're actually living in and from how much we had before uh, we have downsized quite a lot that is why I think it sometimes might look I don't know I don't know for me it doesn't look cluttered it just looks cozy and nice but other people might think that it does I don't know this is um, my grandma's old shelf which is quite popular <laughs> still. I think it started in the 50s or 60s, maybe. Displaying some nice, pretty things, I guess. Um, the table and chairs we uh, took with us from the last apartment. And we sold a lot of furniture as well. We got rid of uh, a desk, the desk chairs, two uh, kitchen stools, a small sofa, two armchairs and like a bunch of small knickknacks and stuff that I kept in the storage area as well. So yeah that was uh, one of the big furnitures we kept and I want a big table because it's just nice you can invite people over you can do projects on it uh, and so I, I, I would rather have like a big table than a big sofa anyway let's look at the window since there's actually not that much uh, wall space in this apartment because there's, there's a window there there's a window behind there there's a window there and I mean oh, sorry for spinning around uh, and over here is just one big closet and then you have the bedroom and sure there's this wall but i kind of wanted to make that picture wall instead so there's not a lot of um space to actually put up a, a bookshelf uh, so this is what i did instead i created like a book corner using the window and i think it looks quite nice and it's mostly my husband's books and my little things. So I'm just gonna show you because 
Okay, first of all, we need to address this doll. Uh, it looks creepy too, a bit, I know, but I got it from my grandma who recently passed away and she wanted me to have it, so yeah, I don't know, but I'm, I think I'm going to to get her a new dress which looks a bit more modern um, and yeah maybe style her hair differently to just make it look a bit cool and this cannelle it's actually uh, from my other grandma I think it's over 100 years old it's from 1907 so I like that one and this is a present uh, my husband gave me when he was in Thailand this was like when we first started dating and this is a wedding present our friend made us which i like and it fits with everything i like because she used uh, our color theme which it was gold and purple and and green and tassels as you can see like tassels there yeah let me see if i can get a shot of that it's just the colors looks all weird. No, that's not gonna work. Maybe if I do it like that. Yeah, I don't like how the color looks, but uh, so the curtains look kind of dark, but they are green <laughs> velvet. And I just had these gold feathers that I hung there, and I don't know, they, it kind of gives them a uh, sort of art deco 20 vibe ish moving on these are some of my hats i keep in there that i can't get rid of and that bag i'm not keeping it's uh, from an old relative but my mom wanted to show me it because it looks kind of cool and this dresser i keep some underwear and training gear and jewelry and on top of it is my collection of crosses that uh, the thing is every time i am abroad i want to go and visit a church and i buy a new cross that's just how i roll and this is my little meditation center i got my crystals and the heart that uh, i use for oils and this little angel is holding uh, the incense and this as well is just an old thing that i found when i lived at home uh, i think i don't know my mom keeps saying that a japanese pen pe pal sent it to her once i like how it looks what else is old yeah so this <laughs> was from my grandma as well I inherited that one and I kind of threw it on on the lamp because I think, I don't know, it has what kind of Indian pattern, something like that. The number one reason I like living uh, in this apartment compared to the old one is because I feel like my husband and I have sort of become closer and I think maybe it's partly due to how we communicate now uh, compared to before but I think it also has something something to do with that we're always in the same space as before he could be in uh, the bedroom where we had our desk and I was in the living room uh, working and we were kind of like always separated throughout the day he was often like listening to music and i was like over there typing writing whatever uh, and sometimes we would even communicate via messenger uh, instead of just walking <laughs> to the other room and that apartment wasn't particularly big that was 56 square meters this is 43 but now we're always in the same room and it just gives you a whole other connection and I haven't actually found that I'm more annoyed now at constantly being in each other's space uh, I actually think it's the other way around 
because now you just get used to it all the time and you, it's like you don't need it for it to be 100% quiet for you um, for you to be able to do anything so that's the biggest perk for me anyway number two is you kind of need to be more aware of what you bring into the apartment now we haven't lived here for so long and as i mentioned i like recently uh, decluttered a lot before moving here and got rid of a lot of stuff but even so it's like i know that i can't bring in much stuff because there are li there's so limited space yeah which is actually nice <laughs> it gives you a whole lot of sense of a minimalist thinking and the apartment like does part of that job for you did i have a number three this doesn't apply for every apartment but number three for well, this apartment in particular is that the floor planning is so clever and it uses every space really well in my opinion and uh, just like the wall of wardrobes the space above it how the hallway is like it's not a big wasted hallway and the bedroom is just, you just need a bed there it's not unnecessarily big i think it has a sort of cozy feel to it compared to before like if you have a so um, part of what contributes to that for me is like colors and paintings and books and just fabric you know curtains and stuff it's not necessarily stuff it's just it's different textures and different colors but i mean we owned all of this before well nearly we owned more before but now i'm just using my favorite things instead and by doing so it kind of looks you have more stuff on a smaller space and it just kind of i like how that looks <laughs> i don't know how to explain it i just like uh yeah the yeah the coziness of it i like i like having a small space downsides however you would think is if you have guests over there's not really no actually that's not true either because since we have these you know i can let these out and we have a separation wall if we sleep in there and our guests if we move the table to the side uh then you can sleep on an air mattress we have done that um yeah so even so you can have guests over there's no problem and that's another clever little solution with hanging curtains like that it's so it's small in here so i kind of have to stand in the middle of the room to be able to okay so that chair we kept and my husband's like oh we need a big sofa we need a big sofa i want a sofa and i was happy to just keep this floor space open because I wanted to do, have space to do yoga and you know stuff like that and I used to like sitting on the floor but no so I compromised we were at a thrift shop and found this bad boy for I think 500 it's like I don't know 50 euros or something we got it really cheap <laughs> which is nice everything in this apartment is either stuff I had before stuff that are old or stuff that i've thrifted some of the paintings i have been given this one i'll be giving these ones i found at the thrift shop these ones are really old uh that one i got from my grandma that's a wedding photo of me and my husband uh, that's a gift these frames i think i found up in my mom's and dad's attic or something like that um this one this thing <laughs> it's also from my grandma and don't complain about my plan because that's the only thing i've been able to sort of keep alive 
and yeah the old curtains and uh, these two curtains now these three I found at the thrift shop as well yeah by far this is my my favorite area I put some tassels on here just to make it I don't know look even fancier in the bedroom so this is my side it's my husband's side so he has to kind of climb over me every time when he doesn't get a night lamp either poor thing this is a bit messy it's just how i keep my way i'll film it from this side it's just how i keep my clothes that i'm using and instead of drilling into the wall i used one of our old uh discs uh that i just hang this on and lead it against the wall i mean i think that was a clever solution my husband doesn't like it but i like it no painting and oh yeah so that headboard was gray but i found this fabric uh also a thrift shop for four euros a bargain I just really like this one. I actually, I think I spend more time here than my husband does. And he was the one who wanted this thing. It's like, you can almost sleep in it, can't you? It's very comfortable. And sometimes he'll sit there and I'll sit here. And we, just, and we put the computer there and we watch some films. Because if you notice, we don't have a TV in here. Because uh, we had a TV when we moved here, but we sold it because we found that we don't really use it. If we want to, we'll just use the computer. What have I missed? I'm trying to think. Let me know if I forgot to show you something. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next Thursday. But it's always so cheesy. Let me do that again. <laughs>